The Delta State Government is set to reverse the decline, devastation, and deterioration of mangrove forest by signing a memorandum of understanding with the United Kingdom-based organization. Governor Sheriff Oberori says the initiative will safeguard the mangrove while fostering economic growth. Ikenamechi reports. Urbanization, querying, salt and sand extraction, pollution from industries and agro-industrial chemicals, petroleum and gas exploitation are activities responsible for the present condition of the once lush mangrove forests of the Niger Delta region. This MOU signing makes the project the second largest mangrove restoration project in the world and the governor is excited about it, especially the attending benefits. Not only does this initiative prioritize the protection of vital ecosystems, but it's also Pioneer's creative solutions to addressing local demands for job creation, infrastructure development, education, and climate resilient structures. And this event today is the first event that shows Nigeria's commitment to environmental sustainability and conservation. But I think the other states have set the pace um, for conservation in the country. And of course for mangrove restoration. The organization gives details on how it hopes to restore and preserve the depleting forest resources. What this means for Delta State is a long-term 30-40 year solution to having a sustainable environment, one in which the, uh, there will be uh, a significant, significant amount of job creation, educational opportunities, with a particular emphasis on youth development. This is something that both the, His Excellency the Governor has expressed a strong desire to see. The Foundation for Partnership Initiatives in the Niger Delta is going to be involved in the implementation of programs that actually lift people out of poverty and also ensure that we replant the mangrove. We really want to set a new standard here which is that environmental sustainability and carbon can actually help the livelihoods of people and it can all work together and create a really great solution. With committed expertise coming in to help restore the value of that attribute of our environment, we could have economic gain that come from it. The next step is the feasibility study which begins in March before the actual work that will also provide jobs in the state. Ikenna Amage, TVC News, Asaba.